Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. I'm Ranger Tom, and I'd like to take you through a short educational video about our deer park. Let's begin. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, right, that's the way. Well, Nathan, you could always go to... Quit in here. Quit in here. Puck. Quit in here. Puck. Who? Who? Cut. But you could go to the most northern part of Canada. But I hate precipitation. Well, you're an idiot. There's only 60 millimeters of precipitation annually. But I don't want to walk. I want to take off. Now, I do apologize for my colleagues' earlier shenanigans. Let's get to the real educational part of this film. Educational. The northern section of the park is covered by the Grand, Land, Grand Land Mountains, as well as numerous ice fields, river basins, glaciers, jorids, ice caps, and a deeply cut plateau exists here. The 900 meter thick ice fields are a remnant of the I previous ice age about 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years? You'd be asking yourself, what exactly can you do to a, in a park as remote and bleak as, <laughs> as this park? <laughs> now, things such as uh, extremely challenging nature hikes as well as outstanding nature photography. <laughs> you can also go camping, there are very little camping sites. And the staff of the park encourage you to use a no-trace approach to camping. So, not leaving any litter, because garbage and organic matter can take millennia to decompose in this cold, wintry land. Now, I've told you about the sparsity of the uh, climate, er, of the uh, vegetation and the wildlife. So, normally I have to exist upon toasted mud. Delicious. <laughs> Some of you might be wondering, where exactly is our park? Nope. To be precise, it's located exactly 800 kilometers south of the North Pole. Uh-huh. It's really cold up <laughs> down e up here. I bet. Temperatures year-round rarely exceed zero degrees Celsius, and in the summer, not even above seven degrees. It's frigid. Due to the cold climate, not much vegetation can exist in the park. Things like mountain shrubs and short trees. Some arctic flowers bloom in the summertime, but not many. Of course, because of the lack of vegetation, there aren't many animals. Herbivores, as, such as the uh, mountain hare, tend to survive, as well as arctic wolves and foxes. Caribou are also found in numbers, but other than that, the park is virtually barren. Barren, barren. Now, screen up. As you can see, I am part of the green team. It takes about 14 y million years for discarded clothes to, disc to decompose. That's why I don't use clothes. It works better for the environment if people would all be like me. And three. I'd like to. Th I'm Richard Tom again, and I'd like to thank you all for watching our short educational video. Here at Kitchen Near Nilapak. Kitchen Near we have an exciting and variety of activities for any accomplished na naturalist to come and enjoy. So please, visit us soon. NOW!